Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 8 of the chapter Equilibrium. In this video, I'm going to solve three numerical problems which are solved examples of your NCRT text from the topic Homogeneous Equilibrium. This is question 7.3. The question says that PCL5, PCL3 and CL2 are at equilibrium at 500 Kelvin and have concentrations of 1.59 mol molar moles per liter of PCL3, 1.59 molar CL2 and 1.41 molar PCL5. So the concentrations of all the reactants and products are given to us. You have to calculate Kc for the reaction and the equation is given that is PCL5 is in equilibrium with PCL3 and CL2. It's a very simple question. You All values are given, you only have to plug in the values and know how to calculate Kc. So how do you calculate Kc? Kc, that is equilibrium constant, is equal to the concentration of the products, that is PCL3, concentration of Cl2, there are no stoichiometric coefficients or the stoichiometric coefficients are 1, so it's to the power of 1, which we don't write, and PCL5, that is the concentration of the reactants. So this is equal to, we can plug in the values, what is the concentration of PCL3? PCL3 is 1.59 molar and CL2 is also 1.59 and PCL5 is 1.41, okay, which means it is 1.59 square upon 1.41 and when you calculate this, this comes out to be equal to 1.79. So this is a very simple problem. You were given the concentrations and you were only expected to plug in the values in the equation for uh, calculation of the equilibrium constant. So let us now move on to the next problem that is question 7.4. Give me a second, let me write it down on the board. Now this is question 7.4. The question is that the value of Kc is equal to 4.24 at 800 Kelvin for the reaction CO gas plus H2O gas gives you CO2 gas plus H2 gas. It's a homogeneous reaction. That's why all the physical states have been given to you. Kc that is equilibrium constant is already given to you. You have to calculate the equilibrium concentrations of carbon dioxide, hydrogen, carbon monoxide and water at 800 Kelvin because that's the temperature at which the reaction is taking place if only CO and H2O are present initially. It means for this reaction CO and H2O that is only the reactants were present initially at the concentrations of 0 0.10 mole each or moles per liter each. Capital M stands for molarity that is moles per liter. So for this equation, let us just write down the equation once again and then see what would the concern, what are the initial concentrations and what, how could we uh, go from there. We have the equation, I'm ignoring the um, physical states now, uh, CO plus H2O gives you CO2 plus H2. Okay. Initially we've started with concentrations of 0 0.10 molar carbon monoxide and 0 0.10 molar water. So if we started with only this, initial concentrations of carbon dioxide and hydrogen were zero, right? So these were initial concentrations. But when equilibrium is established, let us assume that the concentrations of carbon dioxide and hydrogen at equilibrium are x. So concentrations at equilibrium would be x molar concentration and here also it is 0 and x molar. That is x moles per liter, x moles per liter. But what about CO and H2O? If you take a look here, you have 1 mole of CO, 1 mole of H2O, 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 1 mole of hydrogen. It means that if 1 mole of carbon monoxide is used up, then 1 mole of the products are formed. If 1 mole of water is used up, 1 mole of the products are formed. So 
if x mole has dissociated it means the where has this x mole come from it has come from carbon monoxide and water so the concentration of carbon monoxide and water at equilibrium would be 0 0.10 mole minus x because where has this x come from it has come from the reactants so those many moles has reduced here so we we'll say that the concentration of co would be 0 0.10 minus x molar and this would also be 0 0.10 molar minus x molar would be the concentration of both the reactants minus x molar. Now these are the concentrations at equilibrium. Equilibrium constant Kc is given to us. So let us write what is Kc, what is the formula for Kc? Kc or equilibrium constant which is given to us is 4.24 is equal to the concentrations of the products that is CO2 into H2 upon CO into H2O and all stoichiometric coefficients are 1 therefore there are no powers. So let us substitute these values here the concentration of CO2 and H2 both are x moles so this becomes x into x x into x would be x square upon the concentrations of CO and H2O are 0 0.10 minus x 0 0.10 minus x into 0 0.10 minus x would be 0 0.10 minus x whole square. So this is the equation that we get that 4.24 is equal to x square upon 0 0.10 minus x square. We know, look at this denominator, a minus b whole square. What is it according to your mathematical knowledge? a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice a b. So let us solve this lower the denominator according to this and first write this as 4.24 would be equal to x square upon if this is a and this is b a square would be 0 0.10 whole square would be equal to 0 0.01 minus sorry plus b square would be x square minus twice a b 2 into 1 0 is 0 0.2 and b is x so this this is the equation that you this is what you get in the denominator so what is let us rearrange this x square what is x square equal to there x square would be equal to 4.24 into 0 0.01 uh, okay, uh, let me rearrange this. I want to rearrange it because I would like to get a quadratic equation. If we put uh, x square first and minus 0.2x later and plus 0 0.01 in the end, it's the same thing. It's one and the same thing. I just rearranged it so that we can make a, a quadratic equation later. So now when you multiply this, 4.24 x square you are opening the brackets x square would be equal to this minus 4.24 into 0.2 x would be equal to 0.848 x and plus 0.01 would be point, uh, 0.0424 right so now you've got a quadratic equation how have you got a quadratic equation? Because when you have an equation of the kind that ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then for such an equation, x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. This is the equation that you get when you uh, for any equation of this kind now for this equation here this part of it let us take this portion and this portion is equal to 4.24 x square so anything which is with x square is a so a is 4.24 b is minus 0 0.848 and c is 0 0.42 
Using these values, if you substitute it in this equation, you, you'll get three va two values of x. One would be x1. There are two options here, plus, minus. So once you put the values with a plus sign and the second time you put the values with the negative sign, these values in this equation, and you'll get two values for x. So how would you do it? x1, let us assume that we are putting the negative values first. If you are putting the minus first, then minus b, minus b means it is negative, negative, negative will become positive, 0 0.848 minus under root of 0 0.848 square minus 0 0.848 square minus 4 into what is a 4.24 and what is c it is 0 0.424. Under root of this upon 2 into 4.24. So when you solve this, you get 0 0.6067. 0 0.067 is the value of x1. And when you solve the same equation as x2, assuming or taking the this sign to be positive then you get all these values instead here you get the positive and you what, what is the value that you get here 0 0.194 0 0.194 would be x2 so once assuming that this is negative we get the value 0 0.067 and in the second chance when we assume that this value is positive we get the value of x comes out to be 0 0.194 what was x X was the initial the equilibrium concentration of carbon dioxide and H2. And what was the initial concentration that we started with? We started with 0 0.10 molar concentration. So if you started, if the reactants had 0 0.10 moles, if I have 5 apples, I cannot give rise to 10 apples. So if you have 5 apples in the reactants, you, it cannot give rise to 10 uh, what, uh, mangoes, if the products are mangoes. So the product cannot be, the concentration of the product cannot be more than the concentration of the reactants. So X is larger than the initial concentration. Therefore, this value is not right, cannot be taken as the actual value. So according to this solution, X1 should be the right value. The concentration X1 should be the value of X. And what is X? X is the concentration of carbon dioxide and hydrogen at equilibrium. So from this, what do we come to know? What is the concentration of the concentration of carbon dioxide and is equal to hydrogen at equilibrium and it is equal to 0 0.067 is the concentration. And what is the concentration of carbon monoxide and water at equilibrium? We know that it is 0 0.10 minus x. So find out the concentrations of CO and is equal to H2O, concentration of H2O. And this is equal to 0 0.10 minus 0 0.067 minus x. And when you solve this, this comes out to be equal to 0 0.033. If this is 100 and minus 67, 0 0.033. That is the concentration of, of what? Carbon monoxide and water at equilibrium and the concentrations of carbon dioxide and hydrogen at equilibrium which is equal to X would be 0 0.067. So this was question 7.4. Now we'll have one more question to do in this video before I wind up this. Give me a minute to write it down. All right. So this is the last question that I'll be solving for this video. This is question 7.5. It is the solved example of your NCRT of the topic homogeneous equilibrium. The question is for the equilibrium 2 NOCl gas gives you twice NO gas plus Cl2 gas. The reason for writing down the physical states is to show you that it's a homogeneous equilibrium. All reactants and products are gaseous. Beyond that, there is no, uh, no other use of the physical state here. The value of Kc is given, that is 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 6. At 1069 Kelvin is the temperature. You have to calculate Kp. A very simple question. What is the relationship between Kp and Kc that we did in the previous video in part 7? 
In case you do not know, I would encourage you to go back to part 7 and watch that video. Now, Kp we know is equal to Kc into Rt to the power of delta N. That is the difference in the number of moles of the reactants and products. And Kc, to calculate Kp, Kc is given to us that is 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 6. And the value of R, what is the value of R? 0 0.0831 and temperature is given to us as 1069 Kelvin and what would it be to the power of delta N? Delta N is the difference in the number of moles and it is calculated by finding out the difference between the total number of moles of products minus total number of moles of reactants. What is the total number of moles in the products? 2 plus 1, 3. And what is the total number of moles in the reactants? 2. So 3 minus 2 would be 1. So delta N here for this reaction is equal to 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1. So this is to the power of 1. And when you multiply this and you solve this part, it comes out to be equal to Kp is equal to 0 0.033. So this was question 7.5. With this, I'll finish this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.